it's a great pleasure for me to be here uh, at the official launch of this particular movie called Him, the Angry One. Now, what I understand through this movie, um, Reshika has actually tried to capture the, the struggle of a, of a deportee and a victim of substance abuse. And this, this is actually based on some real life experiences. And this movie is a, is a memoir of a person's encounter with a deportee. And, uh, she's actually tried to create some awareness uh, of the adversity of drugs and of its victims and something of a common occurrence all around the world. Ladies and gentlemen, I think we all know that um, movies actually articulate a universal language. It has, it has meaning, it has relevance, <coughs> and it has relevance for everyone, regardless of your nationality or your age or your cultural or social background. Or It's actually a very, very popular me a means of modern art, and uh, movies actually break barriers between, between people and underscore the values uh, and feelings and, and, and longings that are actually shared by us. I'm told that this particular production uh, of the movie involved countless hours of work and took over about a month to produce and to film. And one of the best uh, results of this production is that it actually employed about 30 Fijians, which is a wonderful feat. And we all know how important it is at the moment to secure employment. I'm actually also glad to learn that the production took place here in Suva and um, in Lamy and also in Watuanga. And it, this has actually opened up opportunities for more of these shootings and in these particular locations. And I also understand, ladies and gentlemen, that this it's valued at about $35,000 odd dollars. The production of this particular film was made possible through the support of, of Matrix, Fiji, AP Legal, Life Cinema and the Motor Cinemas. And I want to thank them also for supporting our young generation. Ladies and gentlemen, the audiovisual industry is actually increasingly becoming a, a very critical industry, as you all know, especially in this uh, economic recovery post-COVID. And as a, as a COVID-contained nation, we have the freedom of movement, uh, contrary to what some may believe, freedom to, to safety, of safety to resume opportunities like filming at a time where major uh, economies still have the highest restrictions. Uh, Fiji's task force or COVID task force has been working with relevant agencies also such as Film Fiji to, to set self, safe health and safety protocols and today I'm sure if you all of you have heard and if you, those of you who have not will, will learn today that it's, this has actually enabled the US Survivor Series to begin shooting its season 41 and 42 here in Fiji again and they've got a budget of around 91 odd million dollars and a spend in Fiji of approximately 30 million dollars and and these guys actually employ about three or four hundred Fijians during this particular production. Um, we may not have uh, any of the big wonder of the world things at the end of the day, but I'm sure we can all agree we, actu we actually offer quite a substantial amount to anybody who wants to, to, uh, to film here. We've got world's famous precious sites and established network of communications, etc., and infrastructure that actually helps produce films. With respect to COVID, ladies and gentlemen, we've put in some very stringent uh, protocols through the COVID safe economic uh, recovery framework. And it is, it's actually important that all productions adhere to those strict protocols. Now, also ladies and gentlemen, one of the most important things, and I say this all the time, one of the most important assets that, that our country has, is actually our young and our diverse and our very creative population. And um, we have been nurturing local talent over the years. And recently, the ministry had actually announced uh, winners of some, a, movie, a mobile movie competition with Film Fiji, which replaced the 2020 uh, Cooler Awards. And today, nearly six months later, we are gathered to witness a Fijian, young Fijian filmmaker utilizing her creative skill. Whilst the pandemic, as we all know, has unfavorably impacted the global and national economies um, like never before, domestic filmmakers should become empowered to become agile participants in, in economic activities. And by investing in our filmmakers, uh, we are adding to the capacity uh, for us to succeed. One would ask what this means also, all of what I say for with respect to filmmakers like uh, Rashika Reshma and lead actors like uh, Penyasi Lodo and local production companies like Prose Production. It means that local filmmakers, lead actors and production houses have the opportunity to actually work alongside 
international filmmakers and, and boosting confidence within the industry. Um, I want to say this, in, uh, Rashika, we can say is an experienced filmmaker, uh, having previously uh, produced films like Enduring Hope and now this one called Him, the Angry One. She's now also, I understand, venturing into a new project, and I hope I'm not letting the cat out of the bag, uh, called, called Loft, but it's actually spelt as L-O-4-T. She's planned to produce two more movies, uh, two movies every year, and taking her journey as a local filmmaker to the next stage. So today, ladies and gentlemen, marks a, a significant step for a young and an aspiring woman like Rashika to, to gain ground in the local film scene. I hope that she will set an example for other Fijian filmmakers and for those, for those of you that uh, are interested in this particular area to use their skills to raise issues also that affect our families and our society and the nation as a whole. And I look forward to more local movies being produced in the future. Tonight we will appreciate some really, really good, uh, true Fijian talent. And this movie tells us that there is a need for us to open up about substance abuse in our homes, in our schools, and in the wider community to actually overcome the countless adversities and, and tragedies uh, in the future. And I hope local filmmakers actually create more and more uh, movies to help grow the industry, and similar to one that we're actually going to witness tonight. And um, I thank you all for being here uh, this evening, and I wish you all uh, a wonderful evening. Thank you very much, Renan.